So let's see here a small section from the chapter waves. See, we'll be discussing Doppler effect here. See, what is Doppler effect? The okay, the phenomenon of having an apparent frequency when there is a relative change in the position between listener and the source. You can say that there occurs the phenomenon of Doppler effect, or oh, whenever there is. Uh, there arises an apparent frequency due to the relative change in position between source and listener there will be Doppler effect and our equation for the apparent frequency is f dash is equal to f into v plus or minus vl divided by v plus or minus vs where v is the velocity of the sound vl the velocity of the listener and vs velocity of the source see there are many cases we will just see one case among that listener and source they are approaching each other listener and source are approaching each other see we'll be looking the direction of the arrow marks and we'll be saying how to write the equation always the direction of velocity of the sound will be towards the listener what's the reason for that because listener is hearing the sound and from where the sound is coming sound is coming from the source so the direction of velocity of sound will be always from the source to the listener from the source to the listener velocity of the sound and this is the velocity of the listener this is velocity of the source when they are approaching each other what will happen will the frequency increase or the frequency will decrease ah definitely the frequency will increase you know that whenever you are moving towards a sound system you whenever you are moving towards the speaker or speaker is moving towards you what is happening to the frequency of the sound yes the frequency of the sound is increasing so here f dash is equal to f initial frequency f into v plus vl why the frequency should increase so numerator will increase what will happen to the denominator denominator will decrease so this is the case when they are approaching each other looking into the arrow mark you can say that see v and vl they are in the opposite direction so relative motion you should add them so v plus vl now what about v vs same direction you should subtract right so if the arrow marks are in the same direction you will subtract and if the arrow marks are in the opposite direction you will add them right so it is very easy our section is doppler effect Whichever exam you take, definitely there will be one question from Doppler effect, right? Hi all, you are watching a DOPA capsule class now. To know more about DOPA and DOPA capsule, download DOPA app and contact us using this number.